15 is making a difference in the fight against diabetes. Our Amy Frazier actually got to meet with the 15 year old who traveled to our nation's capital to speak with Congress. And he is on a mission to find a cure. Amy. He absolutely is. The teen was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes just before his second birthday. He says he doesn't let it define him, but it does impact his life, so he's fighting for a cure. As a baseball player for Westview High School, Rohan Aluwalia doesn't let type 1 diabetes stop him from doing what he loves. But it isn't easy. When a pitch came at me, I ducked and it hit my insulin pump and it broke. It like kind of shattered and de uh, delivered like 80 units of insulin, which is crazy. In the end, he was all right, but his family constantly worries if he's okay. I don't remember like any time in the day where I'm not thinking about it. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease where your pancreas stops producing insulin, a hormone needed to get energy from food. Doctors diagnosed Rohan at 21 months old. And we are listening to all this now numbers and his blood sugar number is off the range and we don't know what's going on and um, it's a moment I won't forget. Four to six times a day, Rohan pricks his finger to check his blood sugar level. High or low levels can put patients at risk for things like stroke, blindness, and amputation. Rohan manages his insulin through a pump, but it's not a cure. I want to find a cure. Uh, I'm in DC. So last month, Rohan went to Washington, D.C. for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation's Children's Congress. He and others met with lawmakers, asking them to renew the the special diabetes program, which provides $150 million each year for type 1 diabetes research. It's a disease um, which we will find a cure in his lifetime. I'm positive about that. So that's what our hope is. And you guys, not only is he pushing for more funding and research, he wants to do the research himself. In fact, he's planning to one day become a biomedical engineer, and he is right. absolutely determined. He said he's already starting to work with a doctor up at OHSU on some of this. Wow, what better yeah. person? Somebody with the knowledge and the passion and the drive, yeah. already making the connections. Well, and when you know what's happening with your body, and you've done the research, and you've connected with other people, yep. and you can turn something positive out of that. And that's why he's really hoping that telling his story will make a difference with Congress and, and mm. this Monday. There's Thanks so we'll many smart kids around here. I agree yeah. with that. We'll see him later in the future for yes. sure. Thanks, Thanks Amy. Amy.